Jr. Pleased to be joined by Dan Pastorini, former NFL quarterback. Loved, of course, the Oiler Blue, one of my favorite NFL uniforms, of course, as well. What brings you out to the event tonight, Dan? Well, I came out with the uh, uh, Stem Cell Institute out of uh, out of Colorado as their guest, and uh, we were invited to the uh, Jaws and Ditka cigar party, so we thought we'd take advantage of it, and we're out here just enjoying everybody and seeing some old friends. Anybody particular you're looking forward to seeing or someone you haven't seen uh, in quite some time? You know, I haven't seen so many guys in so long. I've seen so many faces today that I didn't even recognize. You know, the last time I saw them was about 25, 30 years ago. So it's really kind of nice to just kind of see how everybody's doing and see some old friends. One of the presenting sponsors, Premier Stem Cell Research, of course, as well. Uh, we talked a little bit about with, with Don Horn earlier uh, about what they do in the stem cell research. Uh, how has that impacted you in any way, and uh, how has that helped former players as well? Well, I've had some, uh, some hip replacements and uh, some shoulder replacements, and I went to them about four years ago, and it really kind of prolonged me having to have it done. Uh, mine was pretty severe, uh, but it, it saved me about eight or nine months of not having to get the implants done. Finally had to get them done and then afterwards had treatment which really expedited my uh, healing process. So they're really a good bunch and, and they're working a lot with a lot of the retired players and a lot of active players right now and uh, doing some really good things and I'm, I'm just proud to be part of their, their group. Best part about, you know, so far your week, Super Bowl, the city, great host here in San Francisco, the Bay Area. Best yep. part about the city, you think? Well, I grew up here. I was born in San Francisco and raised in a small town called Sonora, about 130 miles east of here. And it's always it's always nice to come back home. It's uh, it's a beautiful place, even though Houston is my home now. But uh, the city is you know very special. Always will be. You've, you've got an opportunity to see you know JJ Watt, of course, a lot as well. Uh, talk about just briefly about the Texans. What you've seen? They seem like a team on the rise. Of course, they started slow this year, but uh, obviously made the playoffs. What's in their future? You think? Well, you know, I'd like to see some continuity. You know, they've, they've gone through a lot of coaches and they've made a lot of changes. And, you know, it's kind of ironic that the coaches they fired are now in the Super Bowl with the Denver Broncos. So, you know, I'd like to see them get some continuity, get some stability. They keep talking about the quarterback problem back there, but they've had four quarterbacks get injured each year for the last two years. So I'd like to see some improvement on the offensive line. It's always easy to point to the quarterbacks, but, you know, they need to start protecting the quarterbacks a little bit more and then uh, let that defense play its game. Who wins uh, Sunday? Panthers, Broncos, any thoughts? Any thoughts? I, you know, I got to go I got to go with the Broncos cuz they're their family, you know. Gary Kubiak was my ball boy in 1978. Wade Phillips we broke in in 1975 with his dad. And, uh, you know, John Elway wore number seven. What can I say? So I got to go with the Broncos. There you have it, folks. So appreciate it. Uh, okay. Thanks, Dan. Thank Enjoy you. your time. Appreciate Enjoy. it. Thank you very much. That is Dan Pastorini, folks. Uh, and the night keeps getting better and better. A lot of history right there. So keep us going. We'll be live on the queue.